Hello, my old school soul food family, Chef Jeffrey, back with another video. All right, y'all, I'm just going to share with y'all big secret. Y'all wonder how I get the nice, creamy, uh, beautiful mashed potatoes that I use all the time in my videos. I'm going to show you the secret, show you the trick. It ain't but three items in it. Number one, I use Yukon gold potatoes. I know you can get them pretty much a little bit bigger than this. I know it's a pain in the butt to peel these things. But they're not big like the regular ice Irish potato, which has so much starch in it. Like I tell y'all, these potatoes are so buttery and, uh, and 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 just goodness. Yukon gold. That's the only potato I use for uh for my uh mashed potatoes. Then I use heavy cream, butter, sour cream, a little salt and pepper. That's it. I'm gonna show you the procedure. You make this on Thanksgiving. <laughs> I'm not saying this to brag. I'm just saying it because it's true. I get the feedback from so many people, family, friends, people online. When they, It's a game changer when they make their mashed potatoes like I'm about to show you. It's just a game changer. I'm just telling you how it is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to step off, get these potatoes peeled, put them in the water, get them boiled off, and we're going to come back. We're going to put this together. This is very easy, perfect side dish to go with your giblet gravy. Put some giblet gravy on this mashed potato. I'm telling you. It'll put you to sleep, goodness. So it'll be perfect for your turkey and dressing, give it a gravy, broccoli casserole, green beans, candy yams, corn casserole, whatever else y'all got on the table. So it's to go right in there, fit right in with it. So anyway, y'all, we will be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Okay, the potatoes are all diced up here, ready to go. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this in here. And another thing, y'all, we're going to add some water to this. As I showed y'all in another video, I don't know if it's going to come out before this one. In my potato salad video, make sure you always start your potatoes in cold water. That way they cook evenly. The potatoes always cook evenly and, uh, and not half of them, half of the potatoes done and the other half is not done. That's why it's very important that you cook them in, uh, in cold water. We're gonna put some salt in here too. Hold on just a second. Put a little salt in there. Make sure you salt your water all the time when you cook potatoes. So your potatoes can be nice and flavorful. A little bit more cold water. Okay. Throw it over here on the on the stove here. Matter of fact we're gonna put it in the back here because uh well, hold on, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We back. Okay, I'll put them there in the back. We're going to put a lid on this. Let them cook. Now, in this pot here, we're going to melt our butter and our cream together. That's what's going to be the... the uh, take these potatoes and bring them to another level. A little cream in there. And let me turn this on. We're gonna put this and we're gonna melt this together. You know, we ain't gonna wanna bring it to a boil. You know, just gonna heat it up till it all melts together. I got a pan of cream and a stick of butter. I'm telling y'all, these potatoes here is not for the healthy at heart. <laughs> this is these potatoes here gonna really, if you got a cholesterol problems and things like that, but it's the holidays. You know, we put all that, throw all that in the, throw all that uh, diet and then all that in the trash on the holiday season. So what we do, all I'm doing, y'all, I'm going to take this, bring it to a, uh, I not even bring it to a boil. I'm going to let this come until it completely uh, get hot, turn it off, and we're going to just let it sit there until my uh, potatoes get ready. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back once the potatoes get ready, and we're going to show you this procedure. Very simple. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. I got my potatoes already. And what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to take these over here to my sink. I'm going to move y'all over here where the action going to be. Y'all, excuse my fan on my oven. It's one of them fancy things I have when it gets so hot in the kitchen underneath it. The fan automatically go off. There's no way you can cut it off. It's like a, what they call it, a safety feature. So I try to talk loud as I can, y'all. So what I'm doing now, I want to drain these potatoes. I'm doing 
right now. I'm going to drain them really, really good. As much as you can. Because I want more cream than water in these, y'all. Got my bowl here. I'm going to mash them in. Something you don't have to worry about overcooking. Well, you don't want it to burn up with no water, but then what I'm saying, you want to cook as much as you, you can get it to cook. Okay. Hold on, y'all. I'll be right back. One second. All right, y'all. We back. Okay. First thing I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to get my mash in here, and I'm going to mash these down as much as I can with my potato mashing. Don't worry, y'all. We going in with the mixer, too. What we want to do, we want to mash them as much as we can here. Yeah? The nice golden potatoes, y'all. Mash them as much as I like to do this before I do it with the mixer. That way I make sure I got a nice creamy potato. And you definitely want to do this when it's hot. You don't want to do this when it's cold. You're going to have glue. A cold potato you mash them like that is going to be glue. Okay, now, next way I'm going to do, let me grab my mixer. All right, got my mixer plugged in. Y'all remember that nice cream and butter mixer we have here? We're going to add in here a little bit of time. We don't want to add too much, y'all. So we don't want to wind up with soup. Take them off of here. We'll scrape this around here. Make sure everything's getting fully, fully incorporated. Using them fancy words, y'all. Fully incorporated. A little bit more milk, butter. Okay, now we're going to add our sour cream. It's going to take it to the next level, y'all. Put a little sour cream in there. Make it creamy and people going to wonder, what makes it so creamy? We know the secret. Get in there. We're going to scrape it down one more time. Then we're going to season it with salt and pepper. Oh, yeah. Look at that, y'all. Look at that now. Salt and pepper in here. Y'all, now we're gonna taste these. Give it a little taste here. Mm. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna step off, get them all put in my bowl, and we're gonna come back and taste them again. And we're gonna close this video out. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Look at this here, y'all. Look at that there. Uh, Look at those mashed potatoes. Now, like I'm telling y'all, make sure you don't make them too thick. You want to leave them a little thin because as they set up, these potatoes, the potatoes going to tighten up on you. So if you make them too thick, later on, after 30, 40 minutes, after they really absorb, potatoes are still absorbing all that moisture, you're going to have some dry potatoes at your table. Let me show you here. Look at this. Get them creamy mashed potatoes. Look at that. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. That's some good rice potatoes, y'all. Nice and creamy. And like I say, 
of these set up, y'all, it's just me eating. I can double dip. All these for me. Look at this, y'all. Mashed potatoes right there. You get to focus that. Mm. Oh, wow. It don't get no better than that. It tastes a nice butter. A definite butter. And I put some more butter on top, y'all. See that butter melting on top? Hey, it's the holiday. You can eat as much butter as you want, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. I'm good eating that. Mm. Wow. Well, let me close the video out. If you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest. <coughs> I'm getting choked up here. <coughs> and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. <coughs> Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a happy, blessed Thanksgiving. Love y'all. Bye.